good day, science-minded learners! How are you today? Are you excited for our lesson today? But always remember, our Almighty God is always with us. In this time of pandemic, the virus will not stop us to learn. So come on, let's explore the world of science. I will be your tour buddy, Teacher Sharon. But before we start, let us pray first and ask the guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Class, are you excited to learn what is new for today? But you need to know this first. Our topic for today is based on most essential learning competency. Compare the planets of the solar system. Identify the planets of the solar system. Classify terrestrial planets and Jovian planets. But before we start our new lesson today, let's review our previous lesson. Have your pen and paper ready. Unscramble the letters to form words being described in each statement. Question number one. This means the spinning of the earth on its axis. Rotation, correct! Number two. This is the movement of the Earth around the Sun. Revolution! You guess it right! Number 3. What causes day and night? Earth rotation! You got it right! And now, establishing a purpose for the lesson. This day, we're going to explore the world of science. Class, are you ready to explore with me, Quest? Find me in all directions. Assume that the distance of every liter from each other is 1 cm. Using compass of a given direction, guess every letter, the formal word, and you will unlock the secret message. I will do it first for you. First letter, 1 cm from letter J going to south. What letter is it? Okay, letter P. Now it's your turn. Have your pen and paper ready. Second letter, 2 cm from letter N going to west. What letter is it? Okay, letter L, you got it right. Third letter, one centimeter from letter F to north. Very good, it's letter A. Fourth 
letter. 2 cm from letter L to S. Yes, it's letter N. You got it right. Fifth letter. 1 cm from letter K to north. Very good. It's letter E. Sixth letter. 2 cm from letter R going to S. What letter is it? Excellent! It's letter D. Based on the activity we have done, what is our topic today? Yes, you got it right. It's all about planets. Are you ready, class? Today, I will be your tour buddy. I am here to guide you and lead you to the world of science. We're going to explore and we'll get to know the planets in the solar system. So, fasten your seatbelt, open your mind, your eyes, and your ears to capture and focus to learn and to enjoy our activities. Our solar system is one of over 500 known solar systems in the entire Milky Way galaxy. The solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago when a cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed, resulting in a solar nebula, a swirling disk of material that collided to form the solar system. The solar system is located in the Milky Way's Orion star cluster. Only 15% of stars in the galaxy host planetary systems, and one of those stars is our own Sun. Revolving around the Sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. The smallest and closest to the Sun is Mercury, which has the shortest orbit in the solar system at about three Earth months. Venus is the hottest planet, with temperatures of up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit due to an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and extensive lava flows. Next to this world of fire is a world of water, Earth. The water systems on this planet help create the only known environment in the universe capable of sustaining life. The last of the terrestrial planets, Mars, might have also supported life about 3.7 billion years ago when the planet had a watery surface and moist atmosphere. Beyond the four terrestrial planets of the inner solar system lie the Jovian planets of the outer solar system. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, sport ring systems, have no solid surface, and are immense. The largest Jovian is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its signature rings are wide enough to fit between Earth and the moon, but are barely a kilometer thick. Past Saturn are the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The slightly bigger of these ice giants, Uranus, is famous for rotating on its side. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system and also one of the coldest. Orbiting the terrestrial planets is the asteroid belt, 
a flat disk of rocky objects full of remnants from the solar system's formation, from microscopic dust particles to the largest known object, the dwarf planet Ceres. Another disk of space debris lies much further out and orbits the Jovian planets, the icy Kuiper Belt. Apart from asteroids, the Kuiper Belt is also home to dwarf planets such as Pluto and is the birthplace of many comets. Beyond the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud, a vast spherical collection of icy debris. It is considered the edge of the solar system since that is where the gravitational and physical influences of the Sun end. Our solar system's particular configuration of planets and other celestial objects all revolving around a life-giving star make it a special place to call home.